just making sure the litter tray area is clean with some gentle non-toxic cleaning product. Bunny's using the toilet. <laughs> she's been there for ages. <laughs> That's Petal. She's a rescue rabbit. So these bunnies have two litter trays, which is so that there's plenty of them to make sure that they can both go at the same time. And also sometimes rabbits have two favorite spots to go to the toilet. So it's good to have two litter trays. They're very curious. Andy Pandy really wants to know what's going on. Andy Pandy's a rescue rabbit. He's an English Angora. And so is Petal. cleaning under the tray. So now we're going to give some nice new trays. We've got some pet litter. need a nice um, pet litter that resists the odours so that you don't have a smell in your home. We use the seagrass mats for angoras so that they don't bring out the, the litter on their feet because they have furry feet. Petal's right in the way again there. She said she liked to use the toilet again, but there she is at the back of the toilet. So now Olivia is going to feed it and water the bunnies. So she's putting a variety of haze. We've got two lovely oxbow haze here. We've got a botanical hay. And we have the lovely orchard grass hay. Now we're putting some oxbow rabbit pellets on top of the hay there. And a couple of treats. And so there we go, and some water, and they're all done. So this whole procedure took about five minutes, so you can see that if you're pretty organised, you can look after your bunnies cleaning and feeding quite quickly. They also have a bag of hay that lasts them for a, quite a long time because it's crammed full of a variety of hays such as oat hay, some teff hay, and tiny little bits of loose and hidden amongst the hay to tempt them. So they have this lovely rabbit sanctuary hay bag with the hole just big enough for their head to go in. And it does help keep the area clean and tidy. Having your hay in a bag 